War reporter Alex Quaid listens to our troops, shares their lives on the front lines, brings us their reality. In the chaos of Iraq, they rely on bravery, loyalty, and yes, on luck. But what happens when luck turns to sacrifice? If I live, I'm gonna lose my leg. The men and women the medics, the pilots, the doctors and nurses who every day put others' lives ahead of their own. A Navy surgeon saved his life. It's a race to save the wounded warriors. Today, the President's Commission on Returning Veterans educates decision makers and caregivers with viewings of Alex's program, and military units use it in their pre-mission training. A special forces soldier asked Alex why she puts her life on the line. She replied, because you do. Gunnery Sergeant Jeff Von Dagenhart and his Marines have hit 22 IEDs. <laughs> in two weeks, this is just another day for the Marines of Dragon Platoon. As we first got here, it was like, you know, paranoid, you know, where's the holes, oh my God. And now it's just like, if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. This is how his Marines battle the insurgency. What is it that you're checking for? What is the danger? Uh, the, the vehicle born I uh, improvised explosive devices. So the actual vehicle becomes a bomb. It is a bomb. We've, we've uh, ran across three here in the last week. The Department of Defense Joint IED Defeat Task Force now uses Alex's special as a case study. Meanwhile, she continues to capture the essence of military service in all it entails. Eric, an assistant manager at a Walmart. We're here, we're armed, we are ready for business. Jeff, a grocery store clerk. Well, we gotta protect our backs. Evan, a bartender. I just hope nothing bad happens. And Greg, a missionary. Just kind of hope and pray that everything's okay. Four citizen soldiers with something in common. Their last name, Pruitt. Four brothers deployed with different units in Kirkuk. Did you see guys with AKs from that house? What was it like for you for the first time when you came under fire? Um, it was it was pretty intense. President George Bush publicly recognized the family for their service after watching Alex's special. She makes us feel what our troops experience. When this happens, a U.S. helicopter is down. These U.S. troops are the first to go in. There is a recovery operation going on. They face the same hostile threat which brought the aircrafts down. They are combat search and rescue men. All of this is geared towards getting back one person. Wizzo, a backseater in an F-15, will soon deploy. Tonight, he plays survivor, shot down onto a building. Wizzo reaches Sandy, the A-10 fighter craft, looking for him overhead with the helicopters. Are you threatened or are you hurt? Does it bring it any closer to home that, hey, you're going over there? Makes me think long and hard about it. For Alex's work reporting their stories and the impact she's had and continues to have on the lives of service members and their families, and for bringing them to the national and global stage, the Congressional Medal of Honor Society presents Alex Quaid with the Tex McCrary Award for Excellence in journalism.